put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. In Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 to 20, St. Paul urges believers to be strong in the Lord, equipping themselves with spiritual armor to stand firm against the forces of evil. This passage reminds us that Christian life is a spiritual battle and we stand faith, prayer and God's word to stay grounded and resist temptation. With truth, righteousness and the gospel of peace as our armor, we are called to be vigilant and to be courageous. In Luke chapter 13, Jesus speaks of his own unwavering mission to fulfill God's will, even in the face of opposition and danger. He laments over Jerusalem, showing his deep love and longing for the people to accept his message. Jesus' determination to continue his journey, knowing the cross awaits, teaches us about the steadfastness and courage in pursuing God's purpose. Regardless of the challenges we face, we must trust ourselves in God. A great example of spiritual resilience is Saint Ignatius of Loyola, founder of the Jesuits. Ignatius was deeply committed to spiritual discipline, developing the spiritual exercises to help others grow in their relationship with God. Despite many challenges, his focus on equipping Christians for battle, a battle against sin. In secular world, Winston Churchill is a fitting example of resilience and determination. During the World War II, Churchill, leadership and courage were instrument in rallying the British people to stand firm in the face of seemingly dangerous odds. His famous words, never give in, reminds us of the importance of perseverance when facing adversity. Two tips for a new beginning. Firstly, equip yourself spiritually. Like putting an armor of God, make time for daily prayer scripture reading and reflection. These spiritual disciplines will strengthen your faith and help you withstand challenges. Secondly, perseverance through opposition. Just as Jesus continued his mission despite danger, stay focused on your calling. Obstacles are part of the journey but with God's help, you can press on toward your purpose. Let us pray. Lord, give me strength to stand firm in faith and follow your will with courage. Help me to trust in your protection and guidance through all challenges. Amen.